So from Hanoi, I took a bus to the town of Sapa, which is northwest of Hanoi in the Huang Lin Sun Mountains, which is basically an eastern extension of the Himalayas. The bus was like no other I had ridden on before, as it had these permanently reclined seats on it. It was definitely a relaxed ride. It took us about five or six hours to get there, and the scenery was absolutely beautiful. When I got to Sapa, it was rainy and foggy, so the views were kind of non-existent, but I still met some really nice people at the homestay that I stayed at, and I walked around doing some exploring with them. The wrong direction. The side of the The next day the weather was way better and I went on a guided hike with a local guide from the Black Hand Mong Hill Tribe. This was actually my favorite thing that I did when I was in Vietnam and for the rest of this video I'm going to play out some footage that I shot on this hike and in this area of Vietnam as I think it's really a spectacular place. So you know, a lot of Vietnamese people from Hanoi. They come to Sapa, they come and try a lot of Black Hanmoon people. We plan a lot of Indigo. Mm. And sometimes we jump in photo and they go, uh, my hand are really black hand. Mm. If people see my hand, people don't know, people say, oh, local people black hand. 
for black Hammon people. <laughs> not, not forever, for one week or two weeks. <laughs> a black hand you got to the home side, you keep in the honor. You say, you look, you look. What happened in my hand today? You give me a free. <laughs> Okay. I don't want this for <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put my camera away because it's a bit dangerous. No, I arrived yesterday, but the weather was so bad. Yeah. Right? Right, yeah. This is the best view. Can you take a picture of me? Absolutely. I'm not the best photographer. I would lie to you. It's like, uh, no, I don't use like this. Sorry. <laughs> okay. It's very pretty. I'll take it on this side. You guys go from Sepachang. Yeah. Just have really small house. Yeah. Uh, inside to the Sepachang too. That is Sapa. Supper. But now, change now. Yeah. Be boarding. Yeah. Anyway. I'm like a pig. That's Fansa Pan, tallest mountain in Indochina. And Fansi Pan, 3,450 meters higher. But I don't see, so it's like. You cannot see to the top. But then there's no reason going up there. Yeah, but yeah, that's what they say. A lot of people go up. And now you see the now you see the cable car.
I was like going a little bit too much on the side. I was like, please, Marco, please, Marco. Pinamar. Pinamar. Yeah, Pinamar. Pinamar. It was like eating for, for bathroom. We said, so it's like sometimes they tell you, I'm gonna do this, and you're like, what is that? And it's like, I'm just gonna take a nap. <laughs> okay, that's that's what you're saying. But they have a different way to say it. Taking a nap is okay. It's okay, yeah. We take a nap after lunch. Like, if you have a long, uh, not many minutes from your job, we feel like a long break for lunch. So, I don't know, my brother sells cars, so obviously they close at midday and open again at 2.33 because it's shop time. So. Mike, can you take a... Thank you. Thank you. Let me choose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, she doesn't like that. <laughs> They're so cute. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.